and that is how you do that. So, all ready for the next part. I need to, because I didn't make this to a proper design, these bolts aren't perfectly centered. So I need to measure that up and make sure we're allowing enough space. What I want is, see here where the coils are, I want this to be less and I'm gonna make a cut out so we've got a good amount of room to go around the bolts. So next step is take this off. Uh, blades come off with this, that's all good. Take the magnet rotor off, which is a pain in the ass. I think one of the jacking bolts has got problems. And God, look at that air gap there, it's tiny, isn't it? Ridiculous. So I will be interested as well to look at the condition of the magnet rotors because I tried something using aluminium, very fine aluminium sheet and super glue. So that's going to be fun to get off because the other job I've got to do is, so it's a rather loud thing. I want to show you where the odd problems are. Yeah, that's definitely on the PIWS, that one. That one's not too bad. That This is a video of what the magnet discs look like, and there's loads of dust. Whoops, see? Loads of it. It's really weird. Really weird. See where all the dust's been scraping as well? Get rid of them. That's pretty interesting. You can see the exact points it's been scraping. So, still feels mega solid. One tiny little crack there, look. Yeah. But loads of that dust, loads of it. it. Must be resin or... I can't remember if I painted them. If I painted them, then that's what it is, but I can't remember doing that. So, that's pretty crazy. In the bizzle, get in there, aye! Well, look at this. In all the excitement of getting the magnet rotors off. See all that dust? What the hell is that? That can't be metal dust, it's pulled out of the air. Oh no, I can feel see the line where it's been scraped where it's quite hard to see but the line here where it's been scraping perfect circle so that is the hardest bit done you can tell these uh, budget magnets aren't as strong as the two inch by one inch by half an inch ones by some margin because you wouldn't be able to pull that off without having uh, an inch and a half two inches at least clear either side so anyway we'll take that inside uh, and this is coming off now. This is the rear rotor. The crack. 
So here's the aluminium sheet. I think it's done quite well, really, for a cheapo, easy job. See it there? It's not in bad condition. Interesting how it's got in there. Maybe it's dried a little bit too quick. Something to remember for when I redo it. This is the back side of the stager. This is just inside, so maybe a bit of light, show you what the state it looks like. Yeah, loads of that dust. Just gonna see how the other one compares thickness wise. The new one will definitely squash down a bit lower. It might only be a couple of mil, but see when it's pushed down so yeah it should be good uh, out there. just checking the clearance for the holes which is why you see now that in certain places there's less wire you know this one so particularly visible in that one, the, spa the space I've left, there's nothing there. Uh, that one's a bit of a cram. Anyway, we should be okay for space, for the bolts. It's only got room to play with, and looking good. So I've got some of this, which is the nice thin stuff. I used the thick stuff last time, and I think this stuff is better. Uh, I've got some of this that I said, and I've got two and a half kilos of resin. Peace.